Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle were in Nigeria over the weekend and they were treated as the royal prince and princess there are. They were protected and they were safe. But ever since their visit to Nigeria, the British media has been saying all manner of unprintable and derogated things against Nigeria. They have been calling Nigeria names, a country with no right, a country of violence, a country that Prince Harry and wife should not visit, a country that should not be painted in a good light. They've said all manner of things to the point that they even tried to rope Alan Onyema who flew Prince Harry and wife into Nigeria. They brought out his case in the US and all manner of things have been said about Nigeria. But however, Rufayo Sidi of Arise TV has come to the defense of Nigeria and he lambasted and took the British media and the entire British people to the cleaner. So listen to Rufayo Sidi. I'll be back at the end of the video. Three-day visit of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Nigeria continues to generate reactions globally. The royals were in Nigeria on the invitation of the Chief of Defence Staff General Christopher Musa to promote Prince Harry's Invictus Games, which he founded in 2014 for the rehabilitation of wounded servicemen through sports and other activities. While many Nigerians welcomed the royals with open arms, the media in the United Kingdom barely reported their visit owing to the crisis within the royal family, which prompted the Duke and Duchess to step down from official duties. On Tuesday, Christopher Wilson, a journalist on the British royal family, in a now-deleted tweet, compared Prince Harry and Meghan to the Duke of Windsor, Edward, who abdicated his throne in 1937 to marry an American divorcee, Wallace, and also compared Nigeria to Nazi Germany. Well, his tweet reads, Desperate to show his wife they were still royal, in the eyes of the world, the Duke of Windsor took Wallace on a tour of Germany in 1937. They were greeted ecstatically. Nigeria's human rights records is not far short of Nazi Germany's. I mean, I, you know that Nigerians have come for Christopher, I mean, there are a lot of untruths on his, in his uh, tweet. First of all, Prince Harry did not abdicate his throne. He stepped down from, uh, I mean, official duties. He still has the title HRH at this moment. And obviously, we all know the story. I mean, a lot of historians know the story of the Duke of Windsor, who abdicated his throne to marry that American uh, divorcee. And their visit to Germany was not a tour. We all know that, you know, they were Nazi sympathizers. Yeah. But this was a horrible tweet. You know that Nigerians will um, take him on on this. Let's take some tweets. This is from uh, Daniel, who wrote, Look like the powerful Nigerian government or kings or whoever ordered the monarchy to shut down their royal rat. Christopher Wilson's racist, offensive comment about Nigeria. He compared Nigeria to Nazi. Now he realized he's in trouble and deleted his post. Well, Wilson said that he did not delete his tweet. Because of that, he wrote, not quite the truth. I deleted it because it had caused unanticipated offense. Another tweet from Oka wrote, the British monarchy's genocide of my ancestors. But we are the Nazis. Nigerians won't forget this. They pulled up the Biafra genocide, I'd call it that, that, that. That's what they wrote in that article. Then Dr. Shola also wrote, she wrote, spot the difference. So desperate to racially abuse and denigrate Meghan Markle. Nigeria, her country of ancestry, is compared to Nazi Germany, May 2024, and her son, Archie, compared to a chimpanzee, May 2019. When challenged, note the gaslighting words, unanticipated, never occurred to me, white people used to deny their racism. Case in point, vultures, Christopher Wilson and Danny Baker. White supremacy is a sickness. Then finally, Matt wrote, the lack of self-awareness by the British media is just mind blowing. These are the same people who mowed down market women who were protesting against heavy taxation in 1929, mowed women down in cold blood, and calling Nigerians uh -huh. Nazis. Yeah. It really is unbelievable. Yeah, you are right, absolutely. About, that was um, the... About, about Abba Abba war, it was called. Because it wasn't a riot. No. And all of so, that. Um, I mean, the that's word, the... The word riot is another British propaganda. It was a war 
The likes of the Wanya Wura and a couple of other women were killed and a part of inquiry was set, was set up and it showed how they just molested and killed those women because they were fighting for their rights in this country. These people are racist. That man that made that journalist that made that the the, of whatever he is, is the height of racism. Was, He's just so jealous that, because Harry and Meghan came to Nigeria and they got relevance and it's in your face. It's gonna hurt you till the very end. I hope that this racism eats your bile up and it continues to eat you up because we can't continue this way. Mm -hmm. How would you relate them to what happened in Nazi Germany and the fact that they abdicated? At first, like you said rightly, the scenarios are different. Very different. Secondly, these people came for a worthy cause yes. in Nigeria, which is the Victor's Game. Mm -hmm. To be able to support veterans. Harry has built a brand with this Victor's Game that goes around the world mm -hmm. and has supported a lot of veterans and that's something worth celebrating. But because of the hatred and the bile that you have against this guy, just let him be. Yeah. I'm not saying everything Harry has done is perfect. There are some things I'll disagree with Harry and Meghan for. But on this, and you now call a particular population Nazis. Yeah, because, uh, what about your own Nazi states you have in that place called Britain? You know, with your monarchy that reigns supreme, that eats off the commonwealth of other people by doing nothing. Right. What about your monarchy that took away all our resource in slave trade? You think we've forgotten Elephant and Castle? You think we've forgotten what you came to do here? That you took all our resource away and turned our tribes against each other to fight themselves? What about all the egregious things you've done for us in this continent? You've demeaned us. You say we are worthless. We are less than human beings. And you have the nerve and the unmitigated temerity to even go ahead and tweet this. All right, a lot of points there, Ayo. There's also a picture uh, back in 2019, another tweet. I mean, this was from Ben, who posted a picture of, um, I believe, Buhari at that yes. time when, uh, at that time, it was uh, Prince Charles yes. and the Queen Consort, now uh, Queen Camilla, visited. But they were not trolled. <laughs> they weren't, they they weren't also, trolled. Yeah. The last week, the weekend exposed just how, number one, ignorant um, a number of British people are because the kind of lies they, they spewed out in terms of fact was mind boggling. You then ask, and didn't they, don't they have history? Don't they have geography in their curriculum in school? They were saying things about Nigeria that was absolutely false, didn't have. And even when Nigerians tried to challenge it, they had the audacity to argue with us as to the facts about our nation. So it just exposed for me ignorance at a very deep level. You reminded me of that interview that um, um, Chimamanda Adichie, Ungoz Adichie had in France where she was like, oh, that question shows, exposes your ignorance when you ask certain things. Yes. The second thing it exposes is how deeply racist, unfortunately, Britain still is. Mm -hmm. The only difference between the visit in 2018 and this and the narrative of Nigeria as a nation were the people involved. And the fact that there's just an inexplicable hatred or um, dislike for Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. And many, t uh, very often, a number of people, beyond the whole controversy of the leaving of, you know, deciding not to be working royals, is the fact that she has the audacity to be half black. And That's that is it. quite unfortunate. Mm -hmm. They had a brilliant visit to Nigeria. I, 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 it, was, it was great to see them promote. I love the footage of Prince Harry's, Harry playing sitting volleyball, that just showing himself, style, yes, volleyball. as That's one of the people. And how, yes. I mean, for me, I just think that Absolutely. they should quit with it. And you cannot come for Nigeria. Nigeria gave it to them. They gave it to them immediately. You know that they wouldn't. Yeah, go ahead. Now, there are persons who are anti-monarchists. When the Queen died, we had some people protesting, complaining about the monarchy. We had uh, when uh, Prince Charles' coronation was taking place and he became King Charles, there were people protesting about the monarchy. So you have these anti-monarchies. But within the uh, uh, English laws, the right to protest is guaranteed. There's something they call the uh, Police uh, you know, Riot Suppression Act. And then under Articles 10 and 11 of the European Court of uh, Human Rights Law, you know, you can protest. So you will find people who may not like people within the royalty who will do so. However, where this uh, Christopher Wilson is coming from, whether he's an anti-monarchist or just a commentator, is wrong to compare Nigeria to Nazi Germany. Anybody will see that we are not a uh, Nazi Germany. Absolutely not. And we, Nigerians demonstrated this with the hospitality, you know, that with which they received the Duke and the Duchess of uh, success. Uh, it was a very colorful visit, a very meaningful visit, you know. And I thought that uh, the visit of the, uh, uh, you know, successes, uh, in fact, 
further advertise the connection between Nigeria and Britain and further positively yes. projected the strong ties uh, that both Britain and Nigeria you Absolutely. know have together so for anybody uh, to now try to uh, misinterpret that is shocking indeed it's not just this uh, Christopher Wilson I pointed out during the uh, week how one of the newspapers I think was it Daily Mail said Arihu mm -hmm. And then added some snide remark yes. about Meghan Markle there, which yes. I don't want to, uh, to repeat. So, again, you are right. There's some resentment yes. uh, for the one who will not be king. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, American wife, you know, who some people think a star doesn't fit into yeah. their own yeah. perception of uh, British uh, conservatism. But on the whole of it, it was a great visit. It was a good visit. And Nigerian people acquitted themselves uh, honorably. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a uh, uh, great fun to see Meghan Marco dressed in a uh, Nigerian oh, fashion attire, Nigerian you Nigerian. know, relating with yes. Nigerians. Absolutely, it was <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful trip. The royals were welcome to Nigeria. I mean, the ties also that you didn't mention was our Nigerian princess now. She came in here as a, you know, a British royal, and she left as a Nigerian princess, uh, Meghan Markle. I mean, I met both of them. Let me, let me just, Yay. let me just blow my horn. Yes, I met did. both of them at I the polo match. Yes, I mean, I thought they were just gracious, really. Congratulations. It was great advertisement for Nigeria as a whole. Where is that really? picture of Ujine Karen? No, we'll find it later. <laughs>